Hi, so what I'm going to show you how to do in this is operate the simple blueprint lighting controllers that I've got um, in this project. Uh, so if you go to music sets, blueprints, controllers, you can see they're all here. So Canon lights, light beam, light circle, etc. Now these all reference, um, if we go back to blueprints folder, reference Canon lights, light beams, light circle, etc. So they all have um, anything with lights here. Um, it, you'll see the references so like light walls you've got one for light walls etc so how these work what you do is we're going to say use the one to control the cannon lights which are the, the roof spotlights um what we'll do is we'll drag in our one named cannon lights into the scene this just uh, brings in a simple little box i've created so it's easy to find in the scene with a name now this can be moved out of the scene um you know, if when you're ready to do your rendering, or you just hide it, from, you know, visible um, uh, from visibility. Um, so it doesn't need to be in the view of the camera or anything like that. So what this does is this basically says, get all of the the uh, cannon lights in the scene and control them. Now at the moment, in theory, if I click on that, um, over the right hand side in the details panel, in the search details, type tag. Now, what you've got here is um, our tag enable disable and our tag name number. Now, this basically says that whatever name or number is in here, turn it on or off. Turn the spot, the lighting on or off, or the emissive te texture on and off. So, if we go to our canon light here, so say we're going to, yeah, so no, go to our canon light here, again, type in tag. Now, you'll notice in the tags here, we've got one that says all off. Now, this in theory should be on all of them. There we go. So if it's not, you can add that by clicking on it, tags, then the plus sign, and all off. This can be whatever name you want it to be. For this, I've kept them as all off because it makes sense. So then what we'll do is we'll go back to our controller, again, type in tag, and type in here, all off. And now I'm pretty sure it's case sensitive, um, but don't quote me on that. So now, as you can see, they all go off and toggle them back on. So there you go. Now, um, what we can do here is say, right, well, we've got them all going on and off, great. But what we want is the purple ones to go on and off. So what we do is we can select our purple ones, um, type in tag again, Click the plus sign next to um, array elements and give it a name, so we'll give it purple. You can give it a number if you want, but as long as you know what it is, that's that's all that matters. So, Canon Light Controller, go back to that. And we can say, right, just check this still. Yep, all going still on and off. So we'll type in purple. Now, and hopefully, there we go. So now only the purple ones are going off. So we'll repeat that again, so we'll go to our green cannon light, and we'll type in tag, and we're going to say green. So back to our light controller, green. Fingers crossed, there we go. So we've got that, we can type in purple, got that, and we'll type in all off, and we've got that. Now this same thing can be applied to, say, our light beams here. So we'll drag in our light beam controller, and what we'll do is, in theory, if we type in all off, there we go, they all go off. So now the same principle can be done with uh, with this. So we can say, right, I want the, select all the green ones. So now sometimes what happens with this is you'll find that you, sometimes you can ed edit them all by selecting them all. Sometimes you can't, you have to click off of them and then click back on of them. It's, uh, I think, a bug inside Unreal. Um, not sure, but just in case that happens to you. So anyway, select our two green ones. Again, type in tag, drop down, green. Purple, drop down, again tag, purple. So in theory, that should do exactly as the other one did. There we go, so that's all the green. all the purple. Now what I've done here is I've exposed 
um, the the enable tag, tag enable, disable, and the tag name number um, to the cinematic sequencer. So I'll show you why that's useful. So if we go to cinematics, add master sequencer, give it a name, we'll leave it test, um, duration 10 seconds, um, there we go. So I'll just delete that, so get rid of any extra stuff. Um, right, so if we click on our Canon controller, um, and then go, so click on the Canon controller, under track, go to actor to sequencer, and it's the top one, this is add BB controller Canon lights. Now if we click the plus, what you'll see here is plus it was track on the BB controller Canon lights, track plus. Um, you'll see that we've got tag enable disable, tag name number, which correspond to the same over here on the right. So we'll add those. So what these now do is they now allow us to keyframe into the sequencer. So if I go, um, so create two new keyframes. So how you create keyframe is that little add, add new track to, at the current time. Um, so do that initially. And we'll move along a little bit. Um, just expand that out just a little, move that along a little bit and we'll turn them all off and then we'll go and turn them back on. We'll continue that just to see what happens. So as you can see when I'm scrubbing they're going on and off. Sodzler I've picked a really slow time here for some reason. Let me just shrink these down. Should I delete them because it would be easier. Um, so what I'm going to do is just expand this all out. Actually, so down in the bottom right here, so I'll just change the time to uh, 10. That'll be better. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. Um, and this to zero, zero. So try again. So what I'll do is I've, I've keyed my frames. Right, so I've keyed my frames, and I'm going to turn it um, off. Move along, turn it on move along, turn it off. So there we go. So we've got it, obviously it's very fast. Um, there, so I'll probably just make it a little bit faster. Um, there we go. So just drag these out to create a little bit more time for yourself. There we go. Right, so we've got them going all on and off. So now what we want to do is we are going to say, move along to here, and we're going to say, I want just the purple ones going off. Now what you do is you type in purple, you'll notice it's dropped a keyframe down here, but you also need to key the tag enable disable. Um, so you, when you're starting a new light, otherwise what will happen, some lights will go on, some lights will go off and it'll leave you in a right mess. Um, so then we'll move along, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, and um, then we'll say, right, we want the green ones. Again, make sure you do both. Off. Leave it a little bit on. Right, so that's that. So when we scrub through, as you can see here, there we go. So we've got a very simple, uh, simple light set up there. So now we'll do the same with the con light beam controller. So we'll click on the light beam controller, and we'll go to track, actor to sequence, add blow, uh, BP controller light beam. It's exactly the same before. Then click on track plus add tag enable, add tag name. So then what we'll do is we'll go back to the beginning by clicking to front, and we're gonna add our two keyframes, and we're gonna say, right, we want, let's not do it in time, so we'll say we wanna key it, we're gonna move along, and we're gonna say, come here, turn it off. As you can see, that's just doing all the purple ones. And then when we get here, we're going to say, right, um, we've got green. Remember to key again. So as you can see, all the, just back out a bit here so we can see the other ones as well. Green. So now when we scrub through, so you can see they're all doing what they've got to do. And we'll do an all uh, off. Oh, wrong one, wrong, off. So there we go. So as you can see there, when we hit play, 
Now, obviously, if this is, uh, you can drop it, obviously, an audio track into the sequencer, and um, you can then look at the waveform and sync up the, you know, um, the lightings to the, say, the drum beat, snare beat, whatever, tempo of the song, um, a lot easier, but that gives you a rough idea of how this works.